Hey, how's it going, everybody? You got Razman's Reality back here with you for another edition of Reality Between the Ropes here on PWP TV. You're probably wondering where the written editions of Reality Between the Ropes have been lately. Well, it's just been a crazy few weeks for yours truly, personally. And there's also the fact that today, as I sat down to try and write an article, the voice recognition software that I use to help with my writing, the profile for the program became completely corrupted. And I had to rebuild the entire thing. So it's going to be at least another 24 hours before I can get an article up. But hopefully you will see something from me that from me, sorry, this week. It's just been absolutely crazy. I will have an unboxing coming up for you in the next week or so though that is wrestling related right here on PWP TV so you can look forward to that as well as the round tables and I'm going to try to be doing weekly episodes like this once again so today as you can see by the title we're going to be talking about something completely inspired from last night on Monday Night Raw of course with the return of the jabroni beating pie eating trailblazing eyebrow Raising the one and only people's champ, The Rock. And that is this. Is the infusion of part-timers a good thing or a bad thing for the wrestling business? I guess we'll just say WWE in particular because TNA doesn't really have the kind of clout where part-timers are going to want to work for them because, well, quite frankly, the way they work, their entire organization is part-time. So, yeah, WWE, is the infusion of part-timers a good thing or a bad thing? Most recent examples, of course, are my guy, my greatest of all time, Chris Jericho. And then you've got, of course, the champion, Brock Lesnar, and now last night, The Rock. Now, there's two sides of the coin to this. There's a side that says... We're all nostalgic for the era and the superstars that we love and that we grew up with. And when these guys come in, it's a great feel-good moment for us as fans. And it spikes ratings, which never hurts anything. More eyes on the product is never, ever a bad thing. But see, that's where the flip side comes in. Because when you get appearances like The Rock's appearance last night on Raw, you have a problem come up. Because let's be realistic about it. You're not going to see The Rock versus Rusev unless they do a match at a Royal Rumble or a WrestleMania. And as much as WWE likes Rusev, is the, are the... Sorry, got a little tongue tied there once again. Is the fan base, are we the fans, ever going to see Rusev as that big of a draw? Or we look at him as a guy who deserves to be in there with The Rock? Because that's the problem that the part timers create. And that's the fact that we all know they're part timers. We all know they're there for some big, unforgettable feud. A la. John Cena, The Rock, a la John Cena, CM, uh, sorry, The Rock, CM Punk, a la Brock Lesnar against everybody now because Brock Lesnar's champion. When a part-timer is involved in matches, it's supposed to be big, it's supposed to be gigantic, it's supposed to be earth-shattering. And right now, I look at Rusev and I don't get that. I think the guy is too green and he's just... Like I said before, to me, he's a character from the 80s in modern day wrestling. So I don't see a feud between The Rock and Rusev happening. That being said, The Rock could probably get in there with the phone book and make them look good. Because say what you want about The Rock, The Rock and Brock Lesnar are the only two part-timers along with Jericho. So I guess you could say all three part-timers right now because it's really the only three guys that we have coming in and out. All three of them are in phenomenal shape right now and they look like they could go at any point, any time, anywhere. So if The Rock wants to put over Rusev, 
and then more power to him, and we'll see if he can make Rusev entertaining. But I personally don't see a feud between the two, and that's what my original point was going to be before I got sidetracked talking about The Rock and the and Rusev potential feud, is that every time these part-timers come in, you have a situation where, okay, this was great for a day, great for a couple of weeks, but now they're gone. And now we have to look at the rest of the product we have, and maybe it isn't enough to keep the casual fans involved. And I know a lot of fans who aren't hardcore fans only tune in to see guys like Jericho, like The Rock, like Lesnar, to a lesser extent a guy like Hogan. They tune in for that nostalgia, and then when it's gone and they don't have it anymore, they turn off. So, my question is, does WWE do the right thing by bringing in these part-timers? Because, to me, these part-timers just get wrestling fans from the other era all excited that things are going to change, and then things don't change. And there are fans out there who, right or wrong, good, bad, or indifferent, just don't like the current product and nothing the current product does to try and make itself better regardless of what guys like Cesaro, Dolph Ziggler, Daniel Bryan when he's healthy, regardless of what guys like that do in between the ropes, it's not enough to keep the casual wrestling fan around, the fan from another era around. To me, I've always said if you're going to be a wrestling fan, you're a fan of all wrestling. I still watch TNA slash Impact, even though it's a complete train wreck most weeks, but I still watch it because I'm a wrestling fan. Wrestling fan, wrestling is in my blood as a fan, that's what I was trying to say. I live it, I breathe it, I smell it, I eat it. I am pro wrestling, but not everybody does that. Only people that work for sites on the internet like us do that. Only people that watch videos like this and that read our articles as you fans do are fans like that. So my question is, as a real hardcore fan, what's your opinion? Is it good for business or bad for business? I like seeing the guys, but my opinion is it's more bad for business than not because most of the time, guys don't stick around. And even Brock Lesnar right now, who should be the biggest and baddest part-timer that you've got, he's not defending the championship at home. So, there's rumors that he is not happy with the way revenue is done now, with WWE going for a more bottom line, with WWE Network instead of individual pay-per-view paydays. So, if he can't defend, he shouldn't be champion. And it just all kind of goes under this same umbrella to me. So, unless something changes and you get part-timers who are willing to stick around for a good half year or at least three or four months and really make an impact that not only makes their feud better, but makes the business good enough as a whole to draw in more viewership, I don't think it's such a good idea. So... You let me know what you think about it down below in the description box. And, of course, follow PWP on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter at Team PWP. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Pro Wrestling Powerhouse. All of our links down below in the description box. You can follow me, solo-wise, at Razman's Reality on Twitter. Facebook.com slash Razman's Reality for my fan page, first name Raz, last name Man, for my personal Facebook. And if you want to help me with some of the equipment problems that I talked about, I'm going to put a link in the description box as well to something I'm trying to do to help get my equipment situation sorted, which will also be something good for you, the fans, who have the ability to financially be able to support me and if you don't if you just want to spread the word about it too that'd be great so remember one thing 
whether it's one of us or a group of us, it's just guys in front of their cameras talking about professional wrestling as old school as old school can be because we are Team PWP and that's what we do. I'll see you next time.